Ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight, because this is the first evening stream we've done in a bit. Uh, along with... I'm still drink Wait! <laughs> first major here at your service. What the heck? Getting ambitious, are we? <laughs> I don't know. I think my brain derped. Anyways, welcome back to Headlander, our third stream of this, and I'm pretty sure that we are in the late game of this. Like, we've gone through almost the entire color spectrum with only violet or magenta, whichever it, it's actually called, of the, yeah, be, only the latest of the colors still being just out of our reach, I believe. So, yeah, I think we'll... We might be able to finish the game with this stream. Uh, yeah. This or the next oh, one? I see. Okay, this is Violet. And <laughs> okay, I, I like these... I like these bulky bodies uh, less than the normal ones. But yeah, uh, let's see. Okay. I think I like the bulky Actually, bodies more, but they look more armored. Also, yeah, I'm using with the controller now. I wasn't actually using that before. Uh, I might swap back. Oh, hello. Because I have no freaking idea what the controls are for this. Uh, actually, yeah, I probably should just go back to the mouse and keyboard so I can actually see where I'm bloody aiming. Yep. Yeah. Okay, thank you for that little trivia. And that took hey, out. Wait, what, what does this shit say? Uh, root script. Wait, we, did we just get. Yeah, we got stuck inside the. What the hell? Uh, can we get back? There we go. Uh, root said that blue is also the color of rotting flesh. Okay. Okay. Um, what are you gonna do with all that power? Maybe open up some more doors? Go shoot something with your little purple laser. <laughs> okay, we got pushed out by the blue guy. Up and again. Okay, come on. Knock some sense into this one. There we go. Uh, yeah. Actually, it's... Before stream, me and him talked, I'd mentioned that uh, it would come call... Okay. Right, I was saying, we talked about uh, it would come call if you have one more stream, it's only 10 minutes long. And I just know, and I said, I think we had that uh, once. But now I think about it, I think it may have happened maybe twice or thrice. Uh, we had Brothers, which was half an hour short, which is why we moved on to the next game, which I'm pretty sure was this one. <laughs> if yeah, my memory that, is that, that bad. I knew it had to happen. That one I know we have had a, a bit more often, but I know we had secretly at least three times under these two years. We had one, two, like two or three times in love with like a 10 minute short. Yeah. I mean, I hadn't really planned out to have the backups pre-installed at that time, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I think it was a case of uh, you expected a boss fight to take longer or something, or you were, you thought you were sort of close to the boss fight, but underestimated how close and uh, how easy it was. Yeah, probably something like that. Okay. But you ended up hustling them together with the old, uh, the old episodes. If I remember right. I think so, yeah. Oop, almost ran into and, that. And yeah, people, we post, we post these videos to YouTube afterwards. Yeah, which I really should get to, <laughs> to just doing immediately after streaming again. But yeah, I just keep forgetting. Yep. <laughs> They've been vandalizing the place with their sim symbolism. Oh dear. Wait, I can actually now talk to you? Of my toasty. Uh, yeah. Grilled cheese, as American call it. Abuse things. 
uh, yeah, what we're actually doing here is we're well, not really leading. We're part of, you know, we've joined a revolt of uh, people who do not want to be stuck in robot bodies for all eternity. And that smart motherfucker was bouncing his shots at us. There we go, just as we overload. And uh, yeah, they suspect that uh, the actual organic bodies are being kept somewhere on the moon, and well, you can, you can guess where we are. Let's see, there's a little something up there. Yeah. And the organic bodies are missing currently. Yeah, we found a lot of stasis pods, but only empty ones. Oh, hello. Oh yeah, one of these again. We need to light up all of these. Uh, let's see. That hits most of them. I, I half expect this game to turn very, very dark. Can I, can I it? it is already quite dark. Yeah, it, it's a, it, it's actually a sort of grim dark in in a, a what would you even call this sort of color uh, going? Just retro color. Uh, Rim dog hidden behind a rainbow? <laughs> I guess that was definitely one way of saying it. <laughs> I just made myself laugh. <laughs> I just caught myself off guard from saying that sentence. Uh, let's see. I'm pretty sure this marks where we need to stand with this. So, how do we. Angle, oh, that should hit most of them. Hmm, but it still misses some. Let's see, maybe I do need to be somewhere else. Let's see. Hmm. Let's just brute force the motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and we've got a load more points. We haven't spent any of these in a bit. And... Oh yeah, overcharge. We got this ability last time. Let's see. He helmet bombs? Hold shift while uh -oh. carrying objects to engorge them with explosive energy. Then drop your payload onto enemies for massive damage. Okay. And we have explosive thrust. While in a body, press and hold shift. Then press Q to eject from the body with enough force to trigger a self-destruct sequence, turning the body into a ticking time bomb. Okay, so basically manually start the self-destruct. It rather happens when the, the bodies hit zero HP. Auto sentry. While in a body, aiming with mouse and holding left to fire, press Q to launch from your body, leaving a perpetually blasting laser turret behind. Okay. That could be useful for some of the <clears throat> for some of the puzzles as well. And we have charge laser. Uh, press and hold left mouse to recalibrate your shepherd weapon in nano mirrors, intensifying laser density. When maximum density is reached, release for behind. <laughs> okay, that's uh, you don't see that word used often. Behomithic blast to cause extensive damage. Wait, is that even a word? Yeah, uh, be. Uh, uh, be biomet thing. Uh, uh, be biomet. The first be part is, but to, to add ick to it, uh, not so much, I think. And let's see. Press three to forcefully secrete hollow crystalline energies through the body's micro pores, creating an impenetrable shield for as long as your power lasts. Okay, that sounds interesting. Hmm. We also have access to this one, so let's let's give that a try. Aim right, and, and press Q. Is Ink in the room with you? And um, for once, no. All right, but what do you have? A hen or something drop? Might have been the. Uh... <clears throat> that might have been, like the. The head we pulled off this thing. Uh, there it is. Whilst we're, can I pick you up again? No, well, I, I, I heard it while you talked about the upgrades. Hmm. Uh, 
not hearing a pen drop is a bit of a soft noise for the mic to pick up. And it depends on how hard it lands. Also, I got something wrong last time. Or uh, Methuselah, uh, I presumed uh, wrongfully that they are a, a military AI, but what the actual <clears throat> what the actual thing said is that Methuselah was the first attempt. Oh, hello! Damn it! At uh, a mind transfer, uh, slipping behind me from the side. The first attempt at a mind transfer, I believe it said. Yeah, they did say he was the first military AI, but secretly he might have been the first attempt of at a mind transfer. Yeah. Let's see, how did I break these again? Uh... I know there was one way. Yep. Okay, just freak the other hell out there. Mm. We've broken those before. I'm just forgetting how to. Unless we can self-destruct the body. Uh, no, that was not enough. Okay, is that a one-way or something? Because we've had one of those before and we broke through it. <laughs> he shot his own head off. What? Uh. Okay, that was funny. I didn't know that was possible. More cryopods. More empty. Hello, Mappy. But we can quit you. So, <laughs> a map bomb. Okay, map data. I'll be sorry for map data. Okay, we have a few more rooms to go. Alternating. Oh, no, hello. I'll take that. It, oh, it's a triple as well. Let's see, Luna Control, or no, Luna Citadel, it says. What's over here? Okay, there's a side room there. We haven't visited. Let's go take a look there, then we'll head back. Yep, that's another repair room. I should probably assume that any... Uh, <clears throat> Any of those rooms that look like this are going to be heal station because they seem to match everywhere. So that is likely one as well, though it has a side uh, entrance. Okay. Um, we've been in there before this, with one of those rooms, but let's take another peek. What else of mad propaganda they've got going on in here. Oh, oh yeah, this is the one with the freaking pin-up. Oh, <laughs> also just a big lava lamp for some reason. <laughs> because this game is just drowning in the 70s. Oh, okay, we've been here before as well. Enough, Shepard! <laughs> Body's supposed to change the way I see things. Let's see. Yeah, that's probably just another repair room over here. But let's take a look all the same. Yep. Now, what are we going to find now here except for one of those stupid things? Okay. Energy upgrade. Ooh. <laughs> I just love that little confused look. Uh, they put so much personality into this game, even though it was, I believe, only a side project. Hold on. Did I put so much effort and love into this game that was a side project? 
basically. I, but it makes I, me wonder. That's what I heard. But here's the thing, Ilian. If that's true, that they put so much love and effort into that side project, imagine what they might have done to the main project. Well, the main project was, I believe. Actually, I don't know what they released at around the same time as this. It wasn't Psychonauts 2. Hmm. I need to check out what they were actually working on. They could have been doing free work for Psychonauts, maybe. Yeah, this meaning... Whatever the main project was, could have either been a disaster or a great success as well. Due to the love and dedication. What is with the green arrows here? Okay, what am I supposed to do here? Talk to the resistance? Or the sisters, sisters of Lucia 13? Do we just need to help them fight off them? Stand down. Okay. Any luck? We're with you, Headlander. Nothing to report. Still searching. Okay, why? Is that for Catch the... Back. Is that marker for the side thing or something? Uh, this one here? Hmm. And um, what is that again? Let's see. Objectives, find the bodies, Luna's deter with the data you all got from the archives. Yeah, cryo chamber somewhere and have a have a look around and see what you can find. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, these two side objectives. Uh, let's see. Okay, these are for the collection then. So we need to find, we need to go still find the bodies. I'm guessing we're supposed to head there then. Hmm. This Maybe. place is running, has us running around a bit all over the place. Yeah. I think that was one complaint I it did have with this game towards the end, that you could get yourself lost. Actually, there's no need to go all the way down with these things. I cannot, that's actually a thing I dislike, where some games actually have a labyrinth-like uh, stage. But it, it's two ways to get lost in, or worse, you have to figure out a pattern to not get lost. Yeah, the, the, the original Mario had that. You, you had to find a specific pattern of going up and down in an area. Uh, in Bowser's castle in the last world. And yeah, if you didn't get the pattern right, you get sent right back to the start of that area. Now, is this yeah, going to work? No, some games, they don't even do that. It makes it worse, but they don't send you back to the start. As soon as you find it back to the start by accident. And only by accident. I've seen a few games do it, I usually hate it for... You almost need to have a walkthrough. For those of those who, especially as a kid, can, can kill a game for one. I don't think this should do enough damage to actually kill us. But, uh... Yeah. Or is it not going uh, to blow until we let go? Hmm. Okay. I know for damn sure we managed to break one of these open before. Far too advanced for this <laughs> Shut up, Rude. Even you. Yep. Uh, I don't think that duel likes you. You can hear. Oh, oh, okay. Great. Okay, this is where we started, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. 
Okay, Wait, what's the green the thing there? Hmm? The green, green marker? Dot to the west from you? Yeah, that's uh, one of the <laughs> the Roomba passages. Oh. Let's go take a look there if we can. Yeah, if you've not been to that one, might be worth to take a look. There's also some area down here that we haven't seen, but that might just be some more upgrades. Hmm. Well, upgrades are always welcome. Let's see. We can find one of the Roombas over there. We'll have to bring it back this all the way over. Secure, unfortunately. Okay. Opening. Only. Okay, I thought hmm, before they came out on their own, I oh, oh, they're here. Yeah, I almost didn't notice them because they were blending in a bit. Nor did I. <laughs> okay. Now, as silly as we look, I do hope that this is worth it. <laughs> the fact that it leaves the after the trail, even though we're not going that fast at all. Okay. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, if we end up going short with the game here, I do have the back. I do have a backup installed for us. Okay, it's just an upgrade. Energy at that. And even more of their anti-central <laughs> processing units uh, <laughs> posters. Uh. Keep it clean in there. Okay. Then, hmm. Wait, there's there's an opening there. Okay, that might be where we need to go, actually. Yeah. Let's Possibly. grab a body from the repair station then, and head down. You just made a pun. Now, if this I did, it wasn't an <laughs> intentional. Oh, you did. Okay, Hila, what do you say? Just a moment ago, here now. Uh, get a bot. Uh, go to the repair station and get a body. And then After go down. That? Uh, yes. You're gonna head down. Susla is being awfully quiet actually during all of this. Yeah. Oh wait, there's a purple door here. Um where can we quickly grab a, a violet body? I hope. Was it that one that just walked out? Yeah, there was a blue one, I think. Huh? And there's a purple one. Yeah, this is the one we just left behind. Hello. <laughs> okay, now you speak up again, huh? Still annoyed with that thing. Like, I'm like 100% sure that we busted a wall like that open before. Okay, it's a blue hunter this time. And of course, that's stupid. They're called hunters. Yep. Oop. Oop, I they did not mean to do that. Uh, oh, no. Quickly. There we go. And, yeah, Hunter Blue. Oh, I just just realized why they have Drew's legs. And why then? Is it, yeah, Drew was a certain pants that were on the 60s and 70s. <laughs> okay. Also, the fact that 
we walk with these things while well, they, they show that they can roll. Okay, what is going on here? Yeah, no. Maybe they ro walk we need and oh, roll when no. needed, but... You expect them to roll more on flat surfaces and walk on uh, more bumping areas. Well, it looks like we have to ditch this thing immediately. Okay. Ow. Okay, let's not... Ow. I was going to say let's not get hit by a rebound, but then we won't slip through anyways. Oops. Thrust upgrades. Okay. Uh, let's grab this, and okay, we need a blue body for that. It's another cryo area. Yep. I was trying to. to, to I was trying to lure it into you know, swiping so I could grab it, or at least grab it more easily. There's a purple door over there as well. Ow. Okay, th th it isn't flashing enough for anything uh, seizure triggering, but it's still a bit much to have happen a few times over. Yeah. Oh dear. Okay. I'm yeah. pretty sure we can't grab this one. So can we just knock out your shield return shots? Yes, we can. Jake, give me that head. Don't take it out of context. <laughs> uh, no, no. So it's stuck in my head. Headless vaults. <laughs> okay. Forget it. of Lucia 13 is to be eliminated. Fail? Looks like it. I'm guessing the date on that pod was supposed to be February 1st, 2008. And that's how we get out of there. Okay. So it was a one-way trip. Okay. We need to get back to the landing pad, which is over that way. So down. That's, uh, that's something weird. Hmm? 
That's what you. That's what a circular monitor when you walk out from the room. The cinematic in the cinematic at least. Yeah. And the, it was an icon of a secret skull. Yep, that was at the start as well. Basically, the that was the life support indicator. Okay. And I can't for the life of me remember what those pants are called. It get I think you people just call them wide pants or something. Why is it specifically going for ow? There we Basically, go. the pants are like it's normally more up uh, past your knee and up, but the, past the knee and down it's extremely wide. Okay. I, I think, think we've seen those in the Austin Powers movie or something. Yeah, I think... I think it was most popular with disco dancers? I think? Actually, yeah, I, I, I think you see those in Starskin Hearts, I believe. Or disco cops? Pro very likely disco cops. What the heck are is disco cops? It's an old cartoon. <laughs> A bit of an obscure one. I'll show an episode once. For now. Look at the blue clearance on yep. Mr. Fancy Pants. Finally, someone agrees with me the healers of fancy pants. <laughs> okay, it's not a fancy bad, but still. I had to make the joke. Okay, I'm guessing we're meant to go this way. It, it one small annoying thing is it doesn't really give like uh it doesn't really give uh, objective markers for where to go. Let's see. Yeah, I usually find that annoying with the... Like, I, I can read too much hand-holding is annoying, but... No one at all is... Might be worse. Okay, I'm thinking we need to go... Yeah. Oh, meet at the landing pad on the moon's surface. Okay, so that's what's down there, probably. Okay, right, down, just down. Yeah. I'm guessing Methuselah let all the bodies die. Or, well, they just couldn't be sustained anymore. We'll have to see what we actually find. First, what we find is now a free purple oh, and a one-way trip. Okay. Opening. Okay. So to get in there, we need to get in through the other side. But let's head for the landing pad first. Is there anything down? Okay, yeah. I was expecting the laser there to keep going down. <laughs> but I missed just the size of the room. Here we go. Hello, Mappy. <laughs> um. Crazy? Intentional phrasing, though there uh, there is a character that the the same voice actor voices who does the like a drop. Facility is a highly oh. secure area. I recognize the I would not be surprised if that guy is the guy for Stanley Parable. Could be. Just they just gave me a bit of robot voice and a little bit of a. Dude. New type of character to roleplay as, so to speak. Yep, this is going to blow. Yep. Okay, I kind of wanted to see what name we could get if we took took the body of the daughter, since well, her head was already off, anyways. Another one of you. Okay. 
Okay, how are we supposed to get down there then if the place is locked up? Oh, oh, there we are. Okay, let's go pick on the single shot since, well, he's up. He does the least damage, but he can still two shot us. <laughs> We can't rush too much. There we go. So this one. There we go. Yeah, the, the bodies get a bit too glass cannony towards the end here, and okay. The, I'm hoping that there is some sort of... Yeah. Oh. We destroyed the other body. I thought we blew up somehow. That one was intentional, though. Yeah, I'm guessing that there might be something behind the wall here that might open the place up, or we need to go find something. Okay, sneaky, hiding it behind the foreground. Okay, let's see then. First level, let's take these out. Actually, do we need those intact or. Your raid sector points for us. And even more speed. Okay, now. Hmm. Yeah, I really do think that. Yeah. There is, has to be a specific part, a spot somewhere to hit most, if not all, of these. Or maybe we need to fire multiple shots or something. Now that also worked. <laughs> If you like, suppose when you try to summon smart, you fail, but then you when you just wing it, you succeed. Yeah. That's or maybe we are supposed to sort of brute force them. Okay, shortcut opened, but still no nothing on how to open that up. So where are we supposed to do that? I'm not seeing Okay, I'm seeing something over there that we haven't explored and one there room you there. Have Seven upgrades to use. Seven points. Uh, we we haven't tried this one yet, even though we sp okay. Aim and Q. And yeah, charge the laser. And then we can pick this one up next. Let's see. Where? Let's see. There? Okay. Wait. Hmm. Okay, so this time it did give us a marker. Uh, I'm thinking it probably did for some others as well. I mean, I've just been blind, as usual. I'm sure. Okay, that didn't need to go there. Uh, I just realized something that is slightly related, like, you, you would call this a bit of a Metroid-inspired right? Yeah, it is, a, it is called a Metroidvania, it's in the genre, in the genre of it, yeah. Yeah, I learned something about Metroid recently. No. 
apparently in the original, the very old one, the more you complete the game and the better, the less close Samus had at the end credit. Yeah. Still dressed, but <laughs> she would be wearing less. And... Yeah, and I felt like... Really? Why? This and... Okay, that's a bit of an odd one that we have access to this even though we never got here before. Hmm. I got a lot to say, so just hear me out. Now, I already told you my name's Earl. But what I didn't tell you all was that it's spelled E R L. I got a lot to say, so just hear me out. Now, I already told you my name's Earl. But what I didn't tell you all is that it's spelled E R L. Short for Emergency Rescue Logistics. What I'm trying to say is, I'm a computer. I was programmed to take over if something went sideways with Methuselah. I know I lied to y'all, but who would trust a computer nowadays? It's my job to fix this mess, and that's what I'm aiming to do. Well. Okay. Yeah, not we the, can. Hmm, go ahead. Uh, not the plot twist I expected. Yeah. <laughs> We've basically been working with, uh, yeah, the fail save. We're purple, <laughs> we're violet for your information. Okay, this should be health. Yep. These don't actually help too much though, with how, well, how hard the, the later lasers hit. But still, every bit is, is, a, is a slightly increased chance of survival. Yeah. Sometimes yes. that might be enough. Like, but you usually would die, but you may have as close at least survive. Just need to override launch pad security. I think Methuselah's been trying to find the mines that made it. It only found you, and you were mostly gone. Look, I ain't sure what Methuselah wants with you, but it designed the helmet you're wearing for a reason. Me and the daughter's nabbed you, thinking you could help. Like I said, I'm just trying to fix things. And that explains why the helmet design fits with the shepherds. Yeah. It's but... also Methuselah's design. Oh no, I forgot what I was to say. <laughs> okay. No more. No, it's just me. For Matt's Earl. Oh. And now we have to. Yeah, really? Snipe me? Okay, just run. Uh, what the heck was I talking about? Damn it. Okay, this is going to be annoying with how fragile the bodies are. I 
Actually, let me steal one of you. Okay, now I remember. I want to say, there are moments where you know you will need to die. But having that one upgrade, that even if you survive with only one or two health, those one or two health might be enough to give you victory. Yeah, like there. Ooh. Um. Well. I guess Come we have on. a light demonstration. <laughs> okay. I want to steal the body of one of these. Go. Go shoot somewhere else. Here. Come on. Here we go. Here. Come on. It's just... Okay. With this, we should be able to make our way back as long as we manage to keep it alive long enough. Yeah. As annoying as that walking sound is. Yep. And as you realize why these colors look so familiar, like, yes, they're red, blue, and all that, but they're very specific kind of blue and red. Damn it. That was. But yeah, the reason I recognize this color is these specific color variants were, how to say, comically extremely overused in the 70s and 60s there. Is something right before he died. Nope. I've been getting lucky so far. Oh, damn it! We luck and oh, in we go. We must speak. There we go. And now Methuselah wants to talk. That's not good. Okay, just keep on running. Okay, I'll say one thing. They could have had this area be connected to the last one instead of having to make you go through one of these. Uh, okay, wait, this one only goes one place? Okay. How this works by now. Why do I waste my time? Shut up, Rude. Maybe Yaru was a liar. Now Methuselah is paying attention. Damn it. Okay, we don't have much reason to listen to you, Mr. Zalan. It is time, Winter. Winters. Bye bye. It took him an some time to notice. Wet, <laughs> wet. Oh. Okay, that's a first. The game crashed there. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I've not had this game crash on me ever before, I think. What? Adult Swim games? Yep. 
Okay, let me move this thing so it's a bit more centered. For some reason, it's a bit off-center. Which might be actually a bit fitting with, well, Double Fine and Adult Swim. Hmm. Where is that going to put us? Okay, back here. So, no progress lost, at least. There, we do lose our dignity again with this stupid thing. Actually, can we just skip the... No, we need to bring it up there. And there's still that green door that we need a body for. Hmm. Okay, but what info did he send out then? Before he got destroyed? Well, self-destructed against them. Glad you made it back, soldier. Many of the daughters weren't so lucky. Any more lines than that? I still can't believe our bodies weren't there. Except for yours. What do you think it means? Don't worry, I got your back. I saw what you tried to do down there. I hear Crystal Nines figured a way to get you on board Methuselah's ship. Make Methuselah tell you where our bodies are. And if it won't do that, just unplug the damn thing. Good luck. I know you'll do what you have to. Good luck. I know you'll do what you have to. Yeah, if the... If there are no physical bodies for them to inhabit, they're going to be pretty stuck in these damaged bodies. Can you help me find a new power gem for my light? Okay. I need the same type of power gem used to charge shepherds. You need to grab a shepherd mid-charge and bring the body back here to transfer the gem to my light. Mid-charge? Like getting repaired or something? I know there are a few shepherd charging stations in the power gem. Oh, <laughs> one of the one of the uh, seats, I'll say. They kind of look like waste carousel stations. The shepherds have to sit on the power gems because their batteries are in the back. <laughs> so that's where they're a bunch of assholes. Athena Seven told me that they used to keep the power near the head. And the radiation caused all sorts of wackiness. Okay, that does explain things a bit. It still looks silly, but at least there's some logic behind it. Headlander, I'm afraid I must ask you to infiltrate Methuselah's ship. When Earl crashed into Methuselah's ship, he created a hull bridge that you should be able to fly through. Hopefully you can get to Methuselah's core. Access its memory banks and find our bodies. I'll maintain radio contact with you as long as I can. Godspeed, Headlander. Well, yeah, that's going to be the last area of the game, I'm pretty sure. And I'm not sure if it was that floating there before or did it just now show up. I think it was there before. It's like, it wasn't here during our first trip. Hmm. I'll have to look back into, oop, into things to see if it was there or not. Actually, with this here, we can go into that, that other door. And they even have a blue one for us there now. You smell like a latrine. No, shut up, you. <laughs> All are welcome, even you. Okay. Oh, I just had an idea. Hmm? You, you know how I usually come. How I dislike the door is entirely made of glass? Yeah. I think I just found the perfect replacement. <laughs> Probably with a silencer installed. Get it. <laughs> so. um, knowing you, I suspect you wouldn't bother with a silencer. You'll probably just rip off the voice modulator. Yeah, let him stew in. Quiet. Uh, hello, Dead. Alright, what do you say now? Hello, Dead. <laughs> 
Oh, oh, dead. Okay. How okay. many freaking bounce? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, he's saying death or death? How, how do we get through that without getting hit again? Micro split second miss? That actually got a lot more than I thought it would. I, I like that you can actually see the shield fizzle away once you run out of energy. And fizzle back in and it recharges. What the heck? There we go. That's one of them dealt with. And uh, now to uh, 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 immediately die. Never. Um, you were saying? Let's see, I'm pretty sure what they're talking about is one of, supposedly one of these. Uh, let's see, boost, no. We have our shield maxima maxed out already, so that should be what this... Let's see, explosive thrust, that's with the body. Uh, <laughs> charge laser plus defecate crystalline energy into the body hole. To increase thermal expansion for abbreviated charge times. Really, game? Wait, what? You have to explain that one to me. Yeah, basically, it's it traps crystal energy. All right. You just make it so like there was a joke in the belt that I didn't see. <laughs> Let's just keep at it with this and hope we knock some of these out. It looks like we can't be hurt by the shots once we have reflected them. So that is good for us. This is really just overdoing it with the noises. Really? That's putting it lightly. I, I think what... I think what they're meaning to say with upgrading our system is that they need more energy or something, or that it's advised to have more energy. But I think we can do this if we don't get knocked out of the hole. If we take it slow and steady. So, have we upgraded enough with the energy? And we, have, we have about half of all of the upgrades, I think. Go, that's that one dealt with. Okay. Wait for the charge. There we go. What's, what's with these big electro socks? Maintainers Wind Song 1. Okay. Where is all of this leading? Been a bit since we've seen. Ooh, ooh, almost got caught by that one. 
been a bit since we've seen these. Really? Wait, hold on. Do you see what it? What, what, it, what does they say? Evac. Evacutron. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anti door league, really? You want a witch hunt for dissenters? Well, you should know. I'm not going quietly. You can't just march in here with your bulbous head and pull us from our homes. I can still bust the dust better than any stinking centralized system. Not going quiet. Going quiet. Say hey. What is this? Evacutron overrides? Uh, okay, that made a noise, but it didn't seem to do anything. Yeah, but Where's this lady? Where are Evacutron supposed to be? Like, only I thought it said evacuation. Which made me question, why have crushers in the evacuation uh, tube? Keep it clean in there. Take it easy in there, it can get a bit hairy. Yep. I think these are just supposed to be bigger models of these. And we found... Okay, is it... Okay, I think we were supposed to go this way. So we can get onto uh, Methuselah's ship like this. Okay. And the elevator music. <laughs> yeah, here we go. That determined and... fate. Yeah. We've landed in a bit of a mess again, it seems. Like most times? Yeah. Then again, Earl rammed this place. Let's see. No destinations available. Uh, it looks like the... It looks like these war points are only for areas in the same quote-unquote map. And since it had to go to a loading screen, this is counted as a different area. Same as the moon. Did I get the first one there? Yes, I did. Winters. The ERL was a liar. You are no clone. Okay. Okay, you'd be a bit be more believable if you weren't sending suicide bombers at me. Yeah, I think it's clear to say that Methuselah has gone a bit cracked. Oh, hello again, RZ. In a bit. Ow. Okay, looks like all we can get around here is extra energy. Which we can spend. Uh, let's actually grab this one, the, the, the shield. Maybe we can actually have <laughs> preserve a body for a while longer with that. is inevitable. We are inevitable. Are you going full Borg, Borg now? Why did I almost put an accent on Borg? Shepherds converge. These are 
These are supposed to be shepherds. Yo, we are we are hauling ass. Holy! Is he on the mission? at that model? Uh, uh, damn it! Okay, I think I, we're supposed to use the laser to uh, bust him. Up. Lockdown engaged. Shepherds. Was it something okay. I hit or something? I know the name of the model. These are combat drones. Well, combat enough to actually hurt this time. Lockdown activated. Okay, that was somewhat working. Exact same mistake. Yeah, this that really is draining this health fast if we get caught by it. Lockdown activated. Doors oh, secured. Okay. Uh, more thing about this game, more thing is, is the 60s and not the 70s for. Uh, Lockdown activated. 70s had already by then started to look. Going towards 80 ish like uh, on TV tropes, it did say it did call it the 70s, but uh, might be a bit. In Okay, those are those blow up and go past our shield anyways. Unless we smash them first. Well, I just think about it says it does have something Lockdown. that you feel like you have seen on old Star Trek or like uh, a certain spy game we played. Yeah. Okay, now we're open. Yes, 60s, 70s, I would say probably more than again with this. Yeah, for, I feel like those are the uh, decades that people usually struggle to think which is which, in a way. Stop, Methuselah, and stop sending suicide heads at me. I've been searching for what is missing for a very long time. It could not be coaxed from the citizens, no matter how I tried. Yeah, now he's really going nutty on us. Lockdown activated. Door. Body, even though our, the other one would regenerate anyways. Shot in the back. They give me... Nope, damn it. Okay, I, I think the damage on some of these later ones is a bit much. So maybe they should have upped the health of bodies or lowered the damage some. Actually, probably lowered damage would have been better since well we've seen how quickly some of these can just utterly annihilate us when we're just flying around ourselves yeah well at least give us better shields or something actually really yeah of course we're not shield we don't have a body to protect us as a turret Okay, that makes some sense. Initiating lockdown protocol. Not opening until lockdown is over. 
That broods. Snap. Oh, hello. And immediately we lose the good body. Okay, one. I think I heard one more spawn. Have a nice day. Go shoot something with your little purple laser. How about you? You and Rude can keep each other company. Uh, actually, we need to let it go here. Also, what is with all the, like, vine-like stuff going around? It's cabling, uh, but it looks more vine-like with all the purple things. Imprint I am. I found you lost among the ruins. There was very little of you left. And so, I remade you. Nope. There we go. You again. Okay. So, what he just said, someone who's part of his imprint. Okay, but that actually somewhat worked. His daughter or something? No, I'm pretty sure what it means is that Winters is one of the mines, if not the mine, from which spawned Methuselah. Oh dear. And I'm not sure if you can actually find any more lore about it, because we, we found some logs in the library, but only like two or so. So, yeah, it looks like another one, one of these, only this time it's required. That's right, I broke protocol. Purple. It's been deactivated. I know it was you, Glitters. I think we found what happened to the rest of the citizens that uh, didn't really get lucky with the with the experiments. Oh, hello. Wait, a yellow one? That been a bit since we've seen yellow. Ow. Okay, we sort of need that, so. Let's see. What was that? Yeah, I think we do need to just rapid fire here because there's no way we can hit all of those at once. I think we just did. Oh, hit all of them, that is. But we still need a. We still need a body that can actually get through there. Okay, that works. Just pulling it off through the floor. Yep. Help! 
something that has that better. Maps is not always good. Sometimes maps show the wrong thing. Well, my feet needs punishment then. Big okay, that. But that's and... supposed to be one that likes the rough. Mappy's not too happy with us. At least all the mappies you broke. I think. Actually, can we use. Yes. <laughs> we can actually. Wait, wait. wait what? <laughs> Okay, either those are the mappies that we broke, or it's the mappies who, well, were broken before. That's right, I As in, the not good ones. Yo, why the hell are he sending those at us? <laughs> Would you like to know more about dying? Mappy can help. Would you like to know more about mental and the thousand pieces? Okay, this. this I get the feeling this is just made entirely to have the voice actor just do all of this stuff in this voice. Yeah, look, give me a little bit of revenge arc. He's not listening to Elmo. Just murder Elmo or something. Elmo worshiping corn. <laughs> Case in point? Yeah. <laughs> it's like being followed by a pack of electronic murder penguins. Look at them there. <laughs> there we go. At least they're fragile. Oh, hello there, Mappy. Wait, do stop. cycle disengaged. Those were not the only mappies, Hillian. Those were hybrid. That. Those were mappies with Andy guns. The ERL only activated you out of desperation. It wanted to destroy all of you. Well, if he wanted to, he had plenty of chance and didn't fear grab it. That you would discover the truth. And that's through being. <laughs> Double decapitation, got a hit, its head off, and then my own. The ERL only activated you out of this. Oh dear gods, Hillian. To destroy all of you. He feared that you would discover the truth. Go. Okay. Yep, that's going to hit. Yep, yep, hello. It's joining me up there. Good man. There. Dodge all of these shots. Damn, damn it. Nope. That's bad. Gimme. Uh. Yeah, we can't use the teleport pad once we're already exploding. Go. 
go. Okay, just an Alco there. Actually, there's no need to fight you. Bye bye. His consciousness merely a simulation. How do you know, Winters? Winters. Are you part snake now as well? Wait, it. <laughs> Don't tell me you're going to go freaking. No! Voldemort. That which is missing in me must be in you. One of the creators. But you, all of you, were taken from me by the ERL. The ERL destroyed my ability to make you again. Okay, we got a sort of Canadian Shepherd now. Let's flip that upside down and it looks a bit like <laughs> uh, one of those leaves. Maple leaf. Mabel? I think it's maple. Yeah, I think. Okay, this is new noises. The ERL hijacked the rebirth circuit. As one of you is terminated, another is zapped in from a location I cannot trace. Your consciousness is always on the move, from head to head. But it is here now. And that explains the respawn. Red access granted. Lockdown activated. Yep. Mappy needs to shut the hell up. Please give me some energy and yep. not enough. Now, yeah, that does beg a bit of a question where the other helmets come from, or unless each of the helmet Locked clone heads machine. is made with a new helmet. Probably with a new helmet. Okay, why is the charge not working as well here? Let's just use the shield then to get rid of them. Expecting soon to make a terminated joke in a hell of a boss for the voice actor. Okay, so these some of these are mappies that we destroyed. Okay, that got to the head of wait, wait, two wait, of wait. them. How do you know do that? Them? Because he was talking about revenge. <laughs> oh. Not opening until lockdown is over. There we go, that also works. Okay, the sheer amount of them is getting annoying up. Or it <laughs> I'm pretty sure we didn't destroy this many of them. Are you sure? Okay, shots aren't actually doing anything, so we actually do have to ram them or decapitate them. Okay. Oh, come on. What? I think it was supposed to be I hate you. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay. Uh, hello. Your routine operator of doors. Attention, routine operator of doors. Secure the aberration a bit. Hear the rest, big fans. This is my domain. I make the rules here. Listen, kid. You lasted longer than I thought you would. But if you want to go all the way, you're gonna need my help. But I am not into empowering idiots, so show me that you are marginally more intelligent than a shepherd. Nothing to say? No heroic retort? No, no bomb discreet? This is gonna stay with the whole strong, silent type thing. Whatever. Your turn. We kind of lack, uh... <laughs> lungs to say anything. You know what a pattern is, right? Here we go. <sighs> Start oh. shooting. Oh, he's he wants to play Simon Says. Okay, job. No, adequate. No, now, good enough. Start. Yay, you're quite a marksman. Your turn. This isn't looking good for you. Yep. Hey, the little colors are about to flash again. I skipped. Spr Your turn. Not bad. Start shooting. Such precision. That was really impressive. For you. Let's see if you can handle more than one input at a time. You'll need this. Go on now. Dope spawns in without the head. Pay attention. We're starting. Nope. Start. Wrong pattern. I'm starting. Yeah, there was the only one then that. Start. Super. Go now. Such precision. Only Start. Super. Well, look who's mildly more sentient than a shepherd. Looks like Methuselah underestimated us both. What a knob. <laughs> okay. I'm... Enjoy your time in the sun. Uh, I I knew I remember it's a quote unquote boss fight with Rude, but I it remembered it uh, quite a bit differently. That I didn't remember that it was freaking Simon says. <laughs> Okay. Looks like one of the two. Uh, hello. So yeah, that's what all the body experiments was for. There's nowhere to go. Me? Also, is the is the neon color tail necessary? Yeah, the, the, oh bloody heck! Like the, that's the, the sun is kind of freaking or settling. But it kind of loses some of that point uh, when you see the tail. This is pointless. Look into the eyes of your creator. Hello. Let's get rid of these Metroid Pauldrons.
Oh, uh, now rocket punches. <laughs> of course, rocket punches. Of course. Can we reflect those back? Yeah. Well, if we can, we will need to find out next time. For now, though, catch. Ow. No, we can't reflect those. Okay, <laughs> that almost killed us. So don't get too close. Really, you're just going to whip your tail at us? Look into the eyes of your Go, that also works. Ow, that w works less. Okay, come on, do your little stomp and give me ammunition. Something we can do with those hands since he keeps doing them. There we go. Give me that. Ow. Not sure if I actually hurt him there. This is pointless. Uh, okay. Yeah, basically Methuselah is uh, a Yandere <laughs> AI. Damn it, he destroyed uh, the bar. I don't think we can uh, call this him red-handed. For him being insane. And the little thing. Go. Go. Can we... Yep, we can. <laughs> Seriously, what are we supposed to be able to do against those? There's not leaving any debris for us to attack and we can't suction them up. Okay, a bit more. Actually, can we just ram your head? Yes, we can. Go. Tell me we have to do all of that again over. No, it, okay. Good. Shepherds, converge on me. That's some mercy, at least. I needed mercy, even. Stupid purple lasers. I thought purple is your favorite. Yeah, this is more violet. And yeah, they do so much freaking damage. And no, we can't skip this cutscene. There is nowhere to go. Okay, let's not waste our health on a charge. I saw that shot coming and still couldn't dodge it. Shepherds, on me. 
Now, so you look a lot... He looks a lot sillier without the big-ass sun mustache. Like these have. <laughs> mm. In a way, uh, Methuselah is being a bit like Samus, like, as in he's losing his clothes <laughs> the more we damage him. Oop. Going straight to that oh, instead. Come on. Why? Alien? Why? Yo, you brought it up earlier. What was I actually? I mean, yeah, I think I to load it today. From. Uh, Angry Rudy Game Nerd. I think he made a review of uh, Kid Icarus. I haven't seen that one yet. It's new. Yeah. Very new, so I will not be surprised. Um, it was released two, three days ago? Oh. Here we go. Well, uh, now it's Headlander versus Head. You, of course. I noticed something about the, our character. Turn away. Yeah. I mean, yes, it meant to be Mannerism Monroe spot on a sheik. We must be freckles, you mean? Uh, more of a mole? Look I need to figure out what the hell the difference is between just a birthmark and a mole is at one point. Like, I think a birthmark is just flat, and a mole is like a, yeah, a, a bump of uh, skin pigment or something. Yeah, you can remove... But you have to be very careful. Somebody you need to have searchers to remove them. Oh, I know, because I've had one removed on yeah, my uh, throat. So, yeah, oh. I don't... <laughs> I don't... So I don't bleed out whilst uh, you're shaving. Yeah, I had a small one on my throat or, or side of my neck. But I did not use surgery. I used a thread. Hey. And it was more like I slightly tightened it each day until it fell off from drying out. Headlander uses headbutt, it's super effective. <laughs> Yeah, that's a birthmark and not a mole. What the? They're alive. Yep. Oh, the, the true final boss. <laughs> One single shepherd. Yeah, Marauder Shields would be proud. Yeah, and what did Root say now? Hmm? Root said something there. Yeah, uh, like, <laughs> I guess lockdown's over since, well, the Methuselah Titan was destroyed. I oh. am dying, but it is not too late. Uh, okay, the, the, uh, the controls aren't changed along with this, so I'm, it, I'm pressing right to go left and vice versa. Oh, I hate this. Even this is reversed. Whose uh, ID good. was there? Oh, we need a body for that, of course. 
It just goes down. There we go. There we go. Winters. start again forever lost but this world cannot sustain itself and there are no bodies humanity was just a dream and what does it matter you're full of crap Wait, what? That's that. Yeah. by David Earl. <laughs> Would you like to know more? <laughs> is, is this supposed to be Mappy rapping? Proctor as Methuselah, John Litros as Sierra Earl and Newscaster, Craig Griffin, Richard Hartsbeet, uh, Michael Petz, Nika Fritterman, David Kay, Cassandra Morris, Courtney Taylor, Jeannie Elias, Michael Wong, and Michelle Wong, and Steve Blum. Which Steve Blum was in this? <laughs> Dude, that that guy managed to show up every fucking where. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, he, I think Wonderbot called it a Steve Blum curse or something. Uh, he still loves the guy, but he still feel like he can't escape him. Yeah. Okay, I didn't actually remember that the game ended like that. Uh. 
I knew what I said reference to. Uh, what then? Starship Troopers, but I think that Boots yeah, original Boot was written around this time. Uh, I was thinking of something different. Uh, you were thinking of, uh, yeah, Starship Troopers. I was thinking of uh, Space Odyssey, was it? With Hell 9000 or something like that? Uh, hello? Crystal? Headlander, it is good to see you again. We were all worried that you would never return. Okay, we're sort of getting the... I was sort of getting the feeling that it was supposed to be like a... sort of murder-suicide at the end. There were... with basically both of them getting taken out to leave the citizens to their own devices without the uh, gems affecting them now. But apparently we got out somehow. With Methuselah offline, we're working our best to get things under control. There are still shutter controls everywhere. Here, Luna Citadel, and on Methuselah's ship. Okay, to explain what else there are enemies around. We could use your help with them. The citizens are still adjusting. Even though the Omega Gem signal is no longer being broadcast, they're still a bit lost. Do what you can to help them. We still don't understand what Methuselah really wanted and why it did the things it did. Yeah, I, I think it just went loopy as the first ninth transfer attempt. And yeah, just ran into the point of uh, yeah, I'm I'm not a real uh, mind. I need to find one of my uh, originators. And judging from the fact that we can select from three Headlanders, I'm guessing uh, Methuselah is supposed to be an amalgamation of all three minds. Maybe. And also. I think it, it, it can be a case of he worked fine in the beginning, but the longer he was in a computer without a body, the worse it got. Yeah. I guess all that's important is that Methuselah is gone now. Headlander? It is a new time for all of us. Please, do what you can. The daughters of Lucia 13 will be here. Should you need us? Thank you. I entertain you. Right, those drones are supposed to be entertainment bots. <laughs> okay. I'm guessing they got plenty of laughs out of us. Whilst uh, we were stuck in one of them. And, uh, yeah. We have explored most of the game. And I don't really know if there is a... Uh, yeah, a, a post-game to this, really. I We could go around and chat with the citizens some to see uh, how they react to everything. And there is still the side quest, but I don't think we'll get much out of that. So let's just take a quick look. Alright, we had this one that we couldn't get because we didn't have the double shield at the moment. At, well, at the time. Yeah, and let's see. Yeah, we, it was a good time we finished here for... Yeah, almost two hours. Yeah. <laughs> Oops. Okay, luckily they still do this to show some mercy to us. Uh, let's see. Let's go to the pleasure port, since that is where we started with everything here. Well, technically we started on the sarcophagus. <laughs> and then we're running a dick ship here. Headliner? My little dog is missing! I need help finding him. Okay, this is one of the side quests that we... 
apparently missed because we probably died at some point. I'm not sure why this place ever seems so magical. Take the time you need to acclimate to your new life. Was anything special? Hey, Marlon. Yeah. Uh, far out. This is Dinner Pan 23. I'm just Little a pants. Uh, I mean, person. That's what we are now. Anyway, folks, I say. Oh yeah, that's it. There's gonna be a lot of music in the hookah lounge. It's a shepherd band, but hey, don't freak out. They won't shoot anyone. <laughs> what? Too soon? Oh, sorry, guys. Okay. <laughs> Sounds oh, like they've no. got a good chance of this. Eh? The daughters of Lucia Thirteen, broadcasting to the pleasure port. That voice. If anyone would like to assist with the rebuilding effort, please find a daughter and volunteer. Okay, her like a handle. Just the guy's voice there. Just yeah. Okay, I do. I feel to be more. Is one of those voice, stereotype voice that actually annoys me for some reason? Yeah, it it's the the typical stoner one. But uh, <laughs> sounds like they're at least uh, going to have a decent chance at uh, well. Thanks for everything. Living instead of well, just being pulled around by the nose, so to speak. And uh. Yeah. Those daughters of Lucia 13? Sure, cool. I mean, that boob whatever room is just dumb. <laughs> and just for context, that it went. Keep on keeping on, man. There's actually live music here, okay. Observing I thought it was sort of a joke. <laughs> Get it? Uh, they were talking about that uh, boob tube re room somewhere around here, which is just a bunch of, yeah, flashing uh, lights and such on the screen. I don't even really know what this place is supposed to be. Confirming they are blue. How's it going, Atlanta? So, oh wait. A yeah, there's still hostile ones as well. Still. Okay. Uh. How are you doing now with all of this, Rude? Oh, hello. Freedom, man. Freedom. Ah, lasers! Yes. Let's find a color door to see what Rude might say now. Orange, you glad I'm opening? Yeah. Okay, that's a bit mean to be shooting in their area, but looks like Rude isn't getting any real... Yellow clearance positive. you think I'd receive recognition, but no. <laughs> yeah, okay, no new lines from him. But, uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, anything with achievements here? Uh, I've gotten most of these. Let's see. 100% half and nine hidden achievements. Okay. Hmm. No. Yeah, uh, I I think I'm going to continue with the game on my own, and I'm guessing those might be for reference or uh, re yeah references or such this hidden around the game. I'd like everyone to take a moment to remember Lucia Thirteen. Her faulty Omega Jet meant that she was the first of us to be free of the Thuzla's tyranny. She used her freedom not to flee, but to fight. Let our existence be a testament to her strength. But, uh, yeah, I'm... I certainly wouldn't mind if they ever make a Headlander 2, because this is an interesting world, and there is still... Well... There's no way they're going to get their human bodies back, unless somehow people survived on the surface of the planet after it was nuked to hell and back. But uh, it would be interesting to see them try to recolonize Earth, even if they are still stuck in mechanical bodies. By the sequel, and who knows? They, they have left enough mysteries going on. Yeah. Like, what did happen to the bodies? 
Yeah, I'm guessing they probably just died out after time after the stasis pods failed. Like, we don't know how long it's been. It could have been centuries or even a freaking millennia. We've even several. Oh, uh, yeah. Still a very interesting little game. And, yeah, I definitely wouldn't mind if they ever make a sequel. They made a lot of money with Psychonauts 2, so I think they have quite a bit of freedom to do what they want next. And I don't think they'll go for a Psychonauts 3 that quickly. So, maybe, just maybe, we will see a Hadlander 2. Hopefully. Mission on. Oh, uh, yeah. For now, let's exit the game and head on over here. And yeah, five minutes short of her usual time. So yeah, that ended up... <laughs> I honestly expected to go short with that. But, yeah, yeah, I was so afraid of the... Browser opening up on the wrong window again, or monitor again. Yeah, that flushed me with white. Okay, let's change the windows over to Twitch here. Make sure that the place is muted. And let's see who is online at the moment. We have I'm a Flanker who is displaying who is streaming Northgard. I believe that uh we are muted so we can it's, might as well take a peek. It's a That's Viking sort of like, game. Uh, okay, yeah, it's this one. It's uh Viking Civilization is it's Viking Civil uh, Civ. <clears throat> Uh, then we have Derpy Do, who is streaming Destiny 2. Touch Scaly Tail is streaming Star Renegades. Can't say I've heard of that before. Okay, it looks to be a pixel art uh, turn based you know, combat game. Oh, yeah. mm. Nice, this. I think it's still someone played this. I think Splatter Cat made a showcase. Okay. And then we have Halloween4545, who is streaming Metroid Prime Remastered. I do hope that they remaster the other Metroid Primes as well as the lead up to Metroid Prime 4. Yeah, that, that actually would be a good thing to do. So, everyone, so pe people that are new to it can do it in order if they want. Yeah. Uh, any of them sound interesting or shall we look at recommended? Say either I'm a flanker or pure Saurex. Uh, oh, that's what's recommended. They are playing Sons of the Forest. I think that's the sequel to The Forest or something. It is. It is. No, <laughs> they're a big old mouse. Might have the section, and I would think. Okay. Um, yeah, who then to rate flanker or the mouse here? Put a little weight on me here. <laughs> oh dear. Well, do I even have a coin here to flip or anything like that? Uh, yeah, I have a whole stack of 10 cents coins here. Okay, uh, Face, and we do flanker then. Yeah, um, don't know what the other side is actually called. Uh, it's heads or tails, with heads being the back image and tails being the front image. Okay, that bounced around a bit. And let's see, it's heads. So flanker, I, I did say heads for flanker, right? I, forgot, I, I just realized he. I just spoke. He just met an NPC with three arms and three legs. Okay. There is so. I'm gonna look up Forest Law for something weird is happening on, the, on those islands. Yeah, I, I I've seen a full story video of the first one, and yeah, it gets uh, interesting. I'll say without spoilers. For now. Copy Flanker's name, and then we go slash raid and paste. And yeah, <clears throat> uh, I should be able to get in another stream tomorrow in the afternoon, since I have a night shift immediately 
uh, well, immediately tomorrow. That, well, that's really immediately, but still. Uh, that means I'll have a good amount of time free, enough to do a stream. And uh, yeah, the day after, I'll... Uh, I <laughs> I have a schedule, not a, I have an appointment schedule to deal with that cavity. And yeah, I'm I'm half dreading it. Uh, mostly because I don't actually know what the hell is going to happen for part of it. Like I know there's going to be a sedation as part of it. Uh, but I don't know if that's the needle for that is going straight into the damn tooth or just the gums around it. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, with that said, thank you everyone who has been watching uh, now or later, and uh, thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And with that, let's start the raid. And uh, yeah, like I said, tomorrow one stream, probably more Indiana Jones. I have a good amount of games tested out for the future. So we should be safe on any more shenaniganery or safe from any more shenaniganery with stream <clears throat> with Discord screen share for a while. But yeah, things have a habit of collapsing around us anyways. <laughs> okay. For now though, thank you all again for watching and until next time, have a nice day and until then. Be safe everyone and watch out for uh, angry robots. <laughs> yeah.